Hi, I'm Ben Westerman with Team Excel. I work engine and power plant issues with Team Excel, and today I'd like to uh, show you a video to familiarize you with accessing active engine control faults and time-limited dispatch indications on the Collins Pro line in the Model 560 XLS Plus. This procedure can be used for initial troubleshooting of active engine time-limited dispatch indications and engine control faults using the ProLine 21 maintenance drop-down menus. You will still need to download engine data for historical faults. For this demonstration, we'll be using the left MFD navigation controller, which is located after the throttle levers. Press the database button and then the lower menu button. Use the rotary select knob on the right side of the controller to move the selection to maintenance main menu and press the escape button to clear the drop down menu. Use the joystick to highlight the LRU index operations and press select on the rotary knob. Use the joystick to navigate through the ATA chapters to chapter 71. From this screen, you can navigate to any of the following. Discrete labels 270 through 277, maintenance labels 350 through 355, and other labels 133 through 357. We will be using the discrete labels 270 through 277 for the left FADEC discrete pages, as well as label 350 on the FADEC maintenance pages. The next screen shows the label pages. Press the Zoom Plus button to move down to the labels. These screens show the fault labels. The labels found here can be referenced in the Pratt & Whitney PW545C maintenance manual in Chapter 72.00.01, Fault Isolation. First, select the 270 label. Press the Select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and the throttles in cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 271 label and press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and the throttles in cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 272 label, press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and the throttles and cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 273 label, press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and the throttles and cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 274 label. Press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and throttles and cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 275 label. Press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and the throttles and cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 276 label. Press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and throttles and cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Select the 277 label. Press the select button. This screen shows the normal indications with no fault present and throttles and cutoff. Use the zoom minus button to go back to the label list. Press the zoom minus button again and use the joystick to navigate to FADEC LA maintenance. Press select on the rotary knob. Press the zoom plus button and select the 350 label. Again, these screens show the fault labels these labels found here can be referenced in the Pratt & Whitney PW545C maintenance manual in Chapter 72.00.01, Fault Isolation. Use the Zoom Minus button to go back to the label list. 
Press the zoom minus button again and use the joystick to navigate to the FADIC LA Discrete and press select on the rotary knob. Now that we've seen all of the normal pages, I will go back to label 271 page for an example. Here you will find line 14, Channel Maintenance Advisory Indication. This is the TLD indication, as well as line 12, Channel Caution Indication, which is the Engine Control Fault Indication. To investigate this fault, access the discrete label pages to find the cause of the fault. This particular fault is caused by the TTO fault, which is found on label 273, line 13. You can then access the Pratt & Whitney manual and locate the TTO fault in table 102, which points you to figure 110. Press the database button to return to the normal screen on the MFD. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact Team Excel at teamxl at txtav.com or call toll-free 1-877-683-7344 or direct dial us at 316-517-1400. Thanks for watching.